Are you ready to boldly go where no one has gone before? Join us on a mission to build a lunar base and explore the final frontier. In this video, we'll show you how to overcome the challenges of building a base on the moon and explore its endless possibilities. From low gravity activities to launching missions to Mars and beyond, the moon is our gateway to the stars. Subscribe to the Dark Space channel and join us on this moonshot journey. Before we can start building a lunar base, we need to understand why we would want to. For one, the moon could serve as a crucial stepping stone for deeper space exploration. By launching from the moon, we could save significant amounts of fuel and money compared to launching from Earth. But that's not all, a lunar base could also provide valuable resources, like water and minerals, that could be used to sustain long-term human presence in space. But perhaps the most exciting aspect of a lunar base is the potential for scientific discovery. The moon is a natural laboratory that could help us better understand our own planet, the origins of the solar system, and even the universe itself. With a lunar base, we could conduct experiments and studies that are simply not possible on Earth. So, while building a lunar base may seem like a daunting task, the benefits are simply too great to ignore. It's time to take the next step in space exploration, and a lunar base is the way to do it. So, now that we know why we want to establish a base on the moon, the question is where do we want to set up shop? After all, location is everything. When it comes to choosing a location for a lunar base, we need to consider a few key factors. First and foremost, we need a spot that has a steady source of sunlight. Why, you ask? Well, because the sun is the moon's primary source of energy, and without it, our base would be left in the dark, literally. We also need to choose a location that's relatively flat and stable. Can you imagine trying to build a base on a steep incline? It would be like trying to set up a tent on the side of a mountain, not exactly easy, right? But perhaps the biggest challenge in choosing a location for a lunar base is avoiding the moon's many hazards. From craters to boulders to extreme temperature variations, the moon can be a pretty hostile environment. It's like trying to find a place to live in the middle of a cosmic minefield. But don't worry, we've got some tricks up our sleeves. From scouting missions to advanced mapping technology, we have ways of identifying the best spots for a lunar base. We just need to make sure we're not in the neighborhood of any lunar landlords, if you catch my drift. So, with all that in mind, let's go out and find ourselves the perfect lunar real estate. Just don't forget to bring some snacks, it's going to be a long trip. Now that we've found the perfect location for our lunar base, it's time to start thinking about the design. What kind of base do we want? A cozy cottage, a futuristic skyscraper, or something in between? Well, first we need to consider our resources. Remember how we talked about the importance of location earlier? Well, that's not just for sunlight, it's also for resources. We need to make sure we're near water and other key resources, or we'll have a tough time sustaining a base. Once we have a good idea of our resources, we can start thinking about the type of base we want. There are many different designs to choose from, but they all have one thing in common, they need to be able to withstand the moon's harsh environment. That means we need to design our base to be resilient against extreme temperature changes, radiation, and even moonquakes. It's like designing a fortress, but instead of protecting against invaders, we're protecting against the moon itself. But don't worry, we've got some pretty cool technology at our disposal. We can use 3D printing, autonomous rovers, and other cutting-edge tools to build our base. And who knows, maybe we'll even have a moon-based 3D printing factory that can make anything we need on the spot. So, let's get creative and start designing our lunar home. Who knows, maybe we'll even throw in a hot tub for good measure. After all, even astronauts need to relax. Now that we have our design ready, it's time to start building our lunar base. This is where the real fun begins. First, we need to figure out how to get all the materials we need up to the moon. Remember, there's no Home Depot up there. We'll need to rely on rockets and other space vehicles to transport all of our equipment and supplies. But that's just the beginning. Once we have all of our materials on the moon, we'll need to start building our base. And this is where things get really interesting. Since there's no atmosphere on the moon, we don't have to worry about weather or wind. That means we can build our base using materials and techniques that wouldn't work on Earth. For example, we could use inflatable habitats or build structures out of lunar regolith, that's moon dirt, for those of you who aren't in the know. Of course, building a lunar base is no easy feat. We'll need to use robots and other advanced technology to assist us. And we'll need to make sure everything we build is properly sealed and pressurized to protect against the moon's harsh environment. 
but with determination and innovation, we can do it. We can build a lunar base that will serve as a stepping stone for human exploration of the cosmos. It's a huge challenge, but it's one that we're more than ready to take on. So, let's grab our hammers and hard hats and get to work. After all, the moon isn't going to build itself. Congratulations. We've successfully built our lunar base, and now it's time to move in. But what's it like to actually live on the moon? Let's find out. First of all, the moon is a pretty barren and desolate place. So, we're going to have to get creative when it comes to things like food and water. We might need to grow our own crops using hydroponic systems, or even find ways to extract water from the moon's regolith. But living on the moon isn't all work and no play. In fact, there are some pretty fun things to do up there. For example, did you know that you can jump six times higher on the moon than you can on Earth? That means we could have some pretty epic basketball games. And speaking of games, we'll need to find ways to keep ourselves entertained during our off time. Maybe we'll bring up some board games or video games, or even start a lunar sports league. The possibilities are endless. Of course, there are also some challenges to living on the moon. For one thing, the lack of gravity means we'll need to exercise regularly to keep our muscles from wasting away. And we'll need to be extra careful about things like air and water quality, since there's no natural filtration system on the moon. But overall, living on the moon would be an incredible experience. We'll be at the forefront of human exploration, pushing the boundaries of what's possible and learning more about our universe every day. And who knows, maybe we'll even discover something completely unexpected. So, let's grab our spacesuits and get ready for the adventure of a lifetime. Moon base, here we come. We've explored the challenges and rewards of building and living on a lunar base, but what's next? What does the future hold for our lunar aspirations? One possibility is that we could use the moon as a launch pad for further space exploration. By building a lunar base, we could develop technologies and systems that would allow us to launch missions to Mars and beyond more easily and efficiently. Another possibility is that we could use the moon as a hub for space tourism. Imagine being able to visit a fully functional lunar base, see the Earth rise over the horizon, and experience the thrill of low-gravity activities. It's not as far-fetched as it may sound, companies like SpaceX and Blue Origin are already working on commercial spaceflight programs. But perhaps the most exciting possibility is that we could use the moon as a stepping stone to even greater discoveries. By studying the moon's geology and history, we could learn more about the formation of our solar system and even uncover clues about the origins of life on Earth. Of course, all of this is easier said than done. Building a lunar base will require a significant investment of time, money, and resources. But the potential benefits are enormous, and the scientific and technological advancements that would result from such a project are nearly incalculable. So, as we look towards the future of lunar bases, let's remember the bold spirit of exploration and discovery that has driven humanity to new heights throughout history. Who knows where our journey will take us next? The sky, or should we say, the moon, is the limit. And that's it for our guide to building a lunar base. See you in orbit. From choosing the ideal location to building and maintaining the base, we've covered it all. We've also looked into the future and how lunar bases could play a key role in space exploration, tourism, and scientific discoveries. We hope this guide has inspired you to think about the endless possibilities of human space exploration. Don't forget to subscribe to Dark Space for more fascinating space content. Thanks for watching, and keep exploring.